Hello, and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial in which I'm going to be showing you how to edit the clips that you've uh, filmed. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should go and check out the first part of this tutorial. You can click on it right now. <laughs> And as well as that, you should also check the video I'm teaching you to do, to, to edit. So, it'll be on the screen right now. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get one of the clips and start editing. So I'm gonna do it only with one clip because well it's gonna be enough to show you what I want to. So basically oh yeah besides that I I hope that you're using something similar to this software this is Adobe Premiere and if you're not using the same software well I just hope that you can replicate that in your own software because you know I can't show how to do stuff on every single software and if you are not um, experienced at all at the software you should maybe seek for you know another tutorial that will show you you know the basic tips to, s to start you know editing and if you want me to make such a tutorial just you know leave a comment below and just let me know so yeah first things first of course every every uh, clip that you edit needs you know cutting so we're gonna cut the start actually one spot we're gonna cut the start of the video until the point well until we reach the point we want so about here and we're gonna cut the end of the video right here Okay. Actually, I will need two clips. I now see because I want to show you this tra transition I'm doing. So basically, let's do the same for the second clip. And I actually said um, you should, you know, watch out for the light bleed. And really, I really meant it because I mean, somehow I managed to, you know, do it wrong. As you can see we have light bleed here at the side but that's okay it's fixable um, yeah so we have two clips here to cut clips great okay so first of all what you want to do is um, have the start of the video well like the first first frame the start of the clip um, cut it off right and freeze it in point with the option uh, b -b 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 frame hold frame hold right so what you want to do then is to get this frame back it off a little and stretch it so you can stretch it as much as you want actually it will still be you know a still like still um, photo or I don't know screenshot call it however you want um, so yeah we have this here and how to fix this little leak of uh, you know of outside we don't want here there are two ways first one is to uh, crop the video since the text box is black so crop is the fact we we could use um, and you just you know crop a little from the left side in this case or we can do another thing we just can you know zoom zoom in on the text so it would look something like this right so I will do one with uh, 
one way and the other with the other way just just because you know just because it can crop from the left yep that seems good okay so here you can see this a little you know jump between the frames and we will fix that later same thing with this one but now let's uh, see what we can do with the text so basically what you can do is that you can um, you can make the text you know appear like with uh, opacity so it's invisible and now it's visible like so then you can make it you know travel from above below from the sides with position tool let's make opacity back 200 um, right so we have to have the, f the points at the start and at the end and then we move the text where we want top it's coming from the bottom and so on uh, what else can we do we can also do uh, for example lightning well we actually you can do that on the other one doesn't have any effects on it um, lightning so how would that look well okay to begin with it doesn't really look like much but with some alteration and believe me you can really alter this lightning um, this will look amazing okay so let's make it more beautiful um, like more insane can we have it even more insane please no that's that's not gonna help yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, random lighting here. Just you know, just play with these effects and you can get various results. You can also change color. Fast color corrector. Wait, why does this blue look so blue? Okay, never mind. Um Right, let's put this point here and another point right here it didn't really go the way I wanted it to go so maybe let's start from the top and let's end on the bottom maybe that will look come on why stuff you know as much as you want and get various different results so in this case I would not really uh, recommend you to crop your video instead you could go with right I messed up here uh, Luma composite instead you should go with the zoom option right it's gonna look much better so yeah, now enough of the text, let's go to the main, you know, um, clips themselves. So basically how to um, make this little jump here invisible would be to get a chunk of the video and uh, to speed it up. So basically we will speed it up to 500%. And now that little jump is invisible. I mean, you can't tell. And then, you know, I've put a music music piece here just, you know, for purpose, actually, because, well, you have to do these montages by music. That means you have to find a proper, you know, 
rhythm in the music and uh, do your effects, you know, accordingly. So I'm gonna do another zoom in to this character. Right? Okay. And this one we will just do, you know, simple little like um, speed throughs. I don't know how to call it. Just literally passing a bit of the character and, you know, playing it at a normal speed. Then, you know, once again having this little clip that allows me to skip a part of this, you know circle that way I can speed up my whole clip so it doesn't look you know too long we'll have one more here um, right yeah and that way you actually you know we don't have a huge clip it does not get too boring you're able to see the character still. And yeah, that's it. The first character done. And we actually, maybe it would be best to leave a little space, you know, between those two clips. Yeah, that, that looks a bit better. So. Here, once again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna back off a little. Uh, cut this piece here. And speed it up to like 500 again. Right? I'm gonna do the same thing here. So it's gonna be a bit faster this one um, yeah it'll do so then of course well we can do all kinds of effects I'm not gonna show you the you know the color switch and stuff I mean I've, I've done it on, on the titles but you can do the same thing here uh, you can also do sort of uh, one second. okay so two spots where we can do certain effect I have in mind. Okay, so basically I'm gonna be doing a blur. Fast blur, it's called. So I will add it on every single clip here and what I'm gonna do is a little like a pulse with this blur. So basically, we'll start off at zero. We'll go three frames into the video. We'll bump up the blurness to 100, three more frames, and back to zero. And this will give a little pulse. See? So we will do the same thing two more times. Zero. 100 0 and I'm trying to do it accordingly to music you know to the rhythm of the music so we have something like this now and you can of course make the videos at the same time you can you know make them skip a, f a few, you know, frames. Well, not a few frames, do the same thing I did here. Like, speed it up. So, and that sped up uh, clip could start off with this, you know, pulse. It's more, it adds like a little, you know, in your face effect. Um, but yeah. There's another effect. So, I've also done a few things like, uh, for example, uh, video distortion effects, 
like I don't know let's call it warp wave warp so let's cut a little piece here and another little piece here and let's add wave warp effects so what's that that is gonna give us a little you know waves on the video <laughs> I mean why not right I will also add a 180 degree rotation because also why not because you might not be able to see these little waves and once the video is upside down you will definitely be able to see the difference <laughs> I mean, yeah why not so yeah you just play play with these effects you know over here I don't really have any more tips for you I mean this is literally what I've done so um, you just have to know you know how to if you make some mistakes you have to know how to fix the situation and you just have to have some creativity I guess I mean find some effects here you know have in mind how they might or might not work play around and if you see some sort of if effect doesn't work you just delete it um, exchange it with another one you know combine them together the possibilities are you know endless so yeah that is about it for me I guess I mean I've said everything I had to um, as I said if you want a more you know noob friendly tutorial for this uh, Adobe Premiere you can just you know write in the comments down below I'm not really a great teacher because you know my English is bad and I'm stumbling on my words but I'm trying you know <laughs> I'm trying so yeah as always uh, I mean thank you for watching uh, smash a like button if you can if not then I guess that's okay um, yeah thank you for watching the video and I will see you next time bye